Hello everybody and welcome back to the third episode of our um, how to make a bucket plugin tutorial. Um, in the previous episode we literally made the bare basics of a plugin and today we're gonna delve a little bit deeper, see what else we can add to it and just expand on what we've already created. Um, so without further ado, let's go into it. Okay, so at the moment we have our uh, gold pickaxe whenever we use it whenever we mine stone we turn it um, into air and then we get our stone back so that's that's fine but what if we don't want to do this all the time what if the uh, user likes using a, a gold pickaxe and they want to mine stone but they want to get cobblestone we need some sort of way to toggle uh, this ability on or off so that's what we're going to be doing today it's adding this new uh, toggle ability so to start off, we're going to have a uh, array list of players. Now these will be the players in the server or on the on the server that which have superheat enabled. So to do this in our main superheat.java, we're going to create a new public uh, public array list player, and we're going to call it I don't know superheat users. And we're going to create a new array list player. So again, I will not go over everything there is to do in Java, but what this will do is basically it creates a list of all the players, um, just a list of players really. At the moment, we just created it with new array list. So when we're creating it, it doesn't have any names in it, but we have the ability to add and remove names from this list. And that will tell us um, whether or not the user is uh, will have has the superheat enabled. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna have a new check, and we can have this check say here, and we have if um, superheat dot instance. Now, this remember we used this, uh, I, we implemented this in the last tutorial. This instance, and this basically allows us to use the uh, the variables and functions of our superheat.java. Now there are other ways of doing this. Um, you could have a uh, class creation method where we send the superheat Java, but for the purpose of the tutorial, this would be a nice, easy way of doing it. So superheat.instance stop, and then we want to uh, have a look at our superheat users. So dot superheat users, and then we want to see if it contains contains event dot get player okay so again put the exclamation mark in so what well, this line of code we've just added here I'll just highlight it that line of code is telling us that if the user who just broke a block is not in this list of users on our main superheat file then just return don't bother so what it's saying is if we um if that player is on the list, then we can continue. So that's that's all good. That now checks to see if they're a super user. But the problem is now they have, the user has no way of turning on super. Um, obviously, this list is empty, so this is just always going to be empty. So we need a way of adding players to the list and removing them. And the way you do this is going to add a new um, new listener, new event, where when a player right clicks with a gold pickaxe, then it will toggle them from the uh, list or not. So let's do that. So we're going to create a new event. So event handler public void on player interact player interact event event. Okay, so this new um, event we've just added is called the player interact event and what this will do is whenever a um, a player interacts with the world so they left click they right click with any object uh, then it will call this event so this is what we're going to use to listen I guess for the right click that a user does so we're going to very simply copy uh, the bulk of what we already have here because we're going to want very similar checks so the checks we'll want is the 
the permission check, the is cancelled check. We're not going to want this one because we're not too concerned about that right now. And we want to make sure they've got a gold pickaxe. Now we also want another check to make sure they're right clicking as well. So the way we do that is by doing if event dot get action dot equals action dot right click block. And we can also do right click here if you want to do right click here. But for this tutorial is going to do right click block. So I'm going to select that one and return. So when it, if the uh, player interaction is doing it with a right click or a block, then we're going to return. But again, we want the opposite of that. So we're going to put an exclamation mark here so that if the player is not right clicking the block, then we're just going to continue. So now there are checks as it were. So it's possible to check the user has right clicked the block with gold pickaxe and they have permission. So now we want to toggle them from the list or not. Now to do that, we have to first of all see if they're in the list. So we can do if superheat.instance.superheatusers.contains event. Now what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to just take out the uh, event.getPlayer just so we can see it easier. So event player player is player, and that just literally just gets the player object from the event just so just for tidiness of code we can literally just put event.getPlayer every time we use uh, what the player is doing like here for instance and here um, but just for simplicity we just want to call it player now just so you can see better what happens here so if superheat.instance.superheatusers contains player so if this player is on the list then we're going to remove them from the list and the way we do that is by simply doing superheat dot instance dot superheat users dot remove and then play. That's all good. And now we want to have a way of adding them. So first of all we'll check to see if they're in the list. And if they're in the list then we remove it. Else we will add them to the list. And that's also very similar. Just add. So here we have this line of code here. What we're doing is we're first checking to see if the user is on the list. If they are, then they remove it, else we can add them. Now, that's, so that will all work fine. If they're on the list, then they can use the block break and uh, whatnot. And we notice we did this in the superheat listener listener. Uh, we don't have to add another register of events because this uh, line of code here will register all the events on our listener class. So whenever we add a new listener, we can just literally add it here and it will do it. We can create other classes of listeners, but uh, again, we only have two events, so that's not a problem. So that's all good. Um, one thing the problem is, is we don't actually have any way of notifying a player. So they can't really know if they are um, been uh, enabled or not. So we're going to have a new line of code. So we're going to send them a message by doing player.send message. And then this takes a string argument. So we're just going to type in a string sh superheat has been uh, toggled off. There we go. And then we can just copy and paste that and just turn off to on. And there we go. So superheat has been toggled on. So when it's added them to the list, we can notify the player that they can now use this new feature. One thing I will actually go over now is actually color code. So at the moment this will just display the user in uh, plain white text. We are a bit more interesting by using chat color, and that's the American spelling color. Chat color, and then we have all these colors to choose from. Um, obviously superheat is very uh, hot, so we're going to use dark red, and then plus, and then I think I might have the rest in we have what color should we choose? Um, maybe we'll have a yellow. There we go. Oh, actually, yeah. Okay, and then we can do that. Just copy and paste that over here. And there we go. So now we have a little bit of color. So the SH and square brackets will be in dark red, and the rest will be in yellow just to make it a bit more visually appealing. Um, obviously, it might not be a great color scheme, but you can 
choose how you do it yourself. Okay, so now we just added that whole new feature where super heat users can toggle on and off. Um, maybe we can change the permission node to toggle, um, for instance, uh, if we wanted to, but let's just use use for now, just so we'll just give them one permission. Okay, so we're gonna export that again. So file, export. Oh, actually, what we can do before we do that is open up our plugin.yml and just update it because we have just added a new feature. So we're gonna do dot one. Very small update. So and export it as a jar file. Superheat, superheat, finish. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you. Sometimes you'll get this jar creation files and it'll say resources out of sync, um, superheat source plugin.yml. The problem is this, um, you've edited your plugin.yml and it hasn't sort of synced with our files. So we're just going to cancel that and the easiest way to get rid of this is just to select your project, hit F5 or right click and do refresh wherever it is, there we go. And that will just sync all the files. So when we export it again, hit finish, overwrite, there we go, this all works fine. So now if we uh, open up our server, hopefully we should see the updated version. There we go, loading superheat version 1.0.1, .1, and then enabling it as well. So let's just quickly go in game and uh, see if our toggling system works. Hello everyone, uh, welcome uh, to our in-game part of this tutorial. We're literally just going to test, see if our toggling system works. So first of all, just place down stone and mine it. Oh, we get cobble, which is good, which shows our superheat has not been enabled. So now we're going to right click a block with our pop pickaxe. And there we go, we can see in the bottom left, superheat has been toggled on. So now when we mine stone with our golden pickaxe, it gives us stone, this is what we want. And we just right click again just to see so we has been toppled off. You notice if we right click the air, nothing happens, but when we uh, right click the ground or any block, it will toggle it on and off. So there we go, that's our um, our toggling system done. I did say in the last episode that we would be going to uh, configs and uh, commands, but I think I'll have to leave that to the next tutorial. So thanks for watching. This has been me, Sam Cooper Roof Gaming, signing out.